So let's take this to the current day, to the president of Guatemala today, because at the same time you were interviewing these soldiers, you interviewed the Guatemalan president, at least the Guatemalan president today, in 2013. Uh, Yes, the the senior officer, the commander uh, in Neba, was a man who used uh, the code name uh, Mayor Tito, Major Tito. It turns out uh, that that man's real name was Otto Perez Molina. Otto Perez Molina later ascended to general, and today he is the president of Guatemala. So he is the one who was the local implementer of the program of genocide which Rios Mont is accused of uh, carrying out. This is a huge charge. I mean, right now it's an historic trial um, when it's 25 years after a past president is now being charged. Let's go to a clip of uh, Otto Perez Molina, the current president of Guatemala. But this is 1982 in the heartland area of Quiche, in northwest Guatemala, northwest of Guatemala City. In this video clip, Otto Perez Molina is seen reading from political literature found on one of the bodies. This is your interview with him. El artesano pobre lucha al lado del obrero. El campesino pobre lucha al lado del obrero. La riqueza la producimos los pobres. El ejército agarra campesinos pobres. Unidos tenemos una fuerza invencible. Toda la familia está en la guerrilla. ¿Qué otra cosa interesante? El ejército guerrillero de los pobres hasta la victoria siempre. Guerra popular. Los Entonces, aquí están diciendo que el ejército um, mató a gente. Exacto. Sí. I mean, this is astounding. This is the current president of Guatemala um, standing over these bodies. Tell us more. Uh, well, as, as one of the soldiers says in the, the sound in the background, uh, the Perez Molina interrogated uh, these men. Uh, and soon after, they were, uh, they were dead. And one soldier uh, told me off camera that, in fact, after Pettis Molina uh, interrogated them, they finished them off. Ye this man, Pérez Molina, the president, actually um, was going by a code name at the time. When was it clear that this is Pérez Molina, that we have a very clear shot of him? For uh, a long time, uh, Pérez Molina was trying to obscure his past uh, and uh, apparently hide the fact uh, that he uh, played this role uh, in a supervisory position during the Highland Massacres. Uh, during the Guatemalan presidential campaign, which Pérez Molina eventually won uh, about two years ago, I got uh, calls while I was in Asia from the uh, Guatemalan press and from the Wall Street Journal asking whether I could vouch for the fact that Mayor Tito, uh, the man in the video who I encountered in the uh, Northwest Highlands in the midst of the massacres, whether I could vouch for the fact that Mayor Tito was, in fact, uh, Otto, General Otto Perez Molina, the presidential candidate. And I said that I couldn't, just from looking at the current videos. You know, people can change a lot uh, visually over 30, uh, 30 years. So I said I couldn't be sure. Uh, it turns out uh, that and, and during the campaign, when reporters would ask the Perez Molina campaign, is Perez Molina Mayor Tito, they would dodge the question. They would evade. Uh, they, they were running from it. Uh, it turns out, though, we just learned uh, this week that Perez Molina had admitted back in 2000 that he was uh, Mayor Tito, but then apparently afterward he thought better of it and was trying to bury it. And now um, this is uh, potentially trouble for him. Uh, he's currently president, and so under Guatemalan law, he enjoys uh, immunity. But once he leaves the presidency, he could, in theory, uh, be subject to uh, prosecution, just as Rios Montt is now being prosecuted. That could be a serious motivation for him declaring himself president for life. Uh, well, Rios Montt sees power uh, by a coup. But uh, one of the important facts about the, the situation now is that the military men don't have the power that they used to. 
the fact that this trial is happening uh, is an indication of that. Uh, this trial is happening uh, because the survivors refused uh, to give up. They persisted. Uh, the survivors have been working on this for decades, uh, pushing to bring Rios Mont and the other generals uh, to justice. They refused to give up. Uh, they got support from uh, international, some international human rights uh, uh, lawyers. And uh, within the Guatemalan uh, justice system, there were a few people of integrity who ascended to positions of some uh, authority within the prosecutorial system, uh, within the judiciary. And so uh, we now have this uh, near political uh, miracle of uh, a country uh, bringing to trial its uh, former dictator for uh, genocide, while the president of the country, who was implicated in those killings, sits by. Alan, this video that we have of you interviewing uh, Perez Molina, again, as you said, he admitted um, to the Guatemalan newspaper Prensa Libre in 2000 that he used the nickname Tito, um, is quite astounding. So let's go to another clip uh, where you're talking to him about uh, the kind of support that he wants. Actualmente los Estados Unidos están considerando dando uh, ayuda militar aquí en forma de helicópteros. Uh, ¿Qué es la importancia del helicóptero? Para ustedes. Sí, el helicóptero es eh, un aparato que se ha convertido de gran importancia, no solamente aquí en, eh, en Guatemala, sino que en otros países en donde han tenido problemas de contrainsurgencia. Eh, Como Vietnam. En Vietnam, por ejemplo, fue uno de, eh, de los eh, helicópteros, fue un aparato muy, muy utilizado. ¿Y también pueden usarlos en, en, en combate? Claro, sí, el helicóptero, si es un helicóptero ya diseñado propiamente de tipo militar, Sí viene artillado para hacer, apoyar a unidades eh, terrestres. Uh -huh. Vienen artillados con ametralladoras o con eh, lanzacuetes. ¿Y a qué tipo de morteros uh, usan ustedes? Bien, eh, hay varias clases de morteros, pero las que están usando las patrullas pequeñas es el mortero Tampela. Tampela. Sí, es un mortero de 60 milímetros. Uh -huh. ¿Y es muy poderoso? ¿Tiene mucha fuerza para destrozar? Sí, es un arma muy, muy efectiva y que se le ha dado muy buen uso y muy buenos resultados en las operaciones de patrullaje. ¿Es arma antipersonal o qué, qué sí, clase? es arma contra personal. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Tiene una...? Aparte de eso, que es muy liviano y es fácil de transportar uh -huh. y fácil de operación también. Uh -huh. Entonces es muy, muy ligera y uh, pueden uh, usar uh, con, con, con la mano. ¿verdad? Exacto, sí. Uh -huh. con la mano. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde lo obtienen? Ese lo estamos teniendo de Israel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso está abasteciendo. Ajá. ¿Y uh, dónde lo obtiene el, la amunición para ellos? La amunición de Israelita también. Uh -huh. So this is, uh, again, the current president, uh, Pérez Molina of Guatemala, the general you met in the Highlands in 1982, asking for more aid.